You're crazy, is what I would have thought. There was no way. And I know for myself, when I first became exposed to what we were planning with Forge, I was thinking, this is huge, right? It's, it's huge in several ways. Convergence between industries, it, it's a big thing here. And as the industries converge, well, it's kind of obvious that then the tools will have to converge too. Giving our customers those tools to be able to to be more creative, to have more ideas about what they might do and to not be constrained by tools. It's a new mindset and it's kind of like a, a revolution in my mind. So um, let's take a big step back. The internet really became something for the masses starting in 1995. That's when Netscape came out, the very first mass market browser. Frankly, you couldn't do 3D graphics through a browser until WebGL happened 10 years ago. At the same time as 3D becomes possible on a browser, the design make industry is migrating from 2D to 3D. And it's about accessibility. It's about being able to share 3D with anybody. All of a sudden, we Autodesk recognized we could put this 3D information up on the cloud as our first web service. And very quickly, we were told, you know, I like the viewer, but you know, there's a lot of web viewers out there. What I love is the data, because the metadata allows them to count, schedule, plan, it's funny, we put it out there initially as the Autodesk uh, viewing web service, and then we quickly pivoted and said, it's the Autodesk view and data web service. And then recognizing that, you know, there's more services we could provide. It's not just the view and data, we can do more. Or we, we want it to get to a place where, where a cloud-based model makes design data as accessible uh, uh, as any data we know, as accessible as a, as a Twitter feed is, um, but also as safe and, and, and only shared when, when people want to intentionally share it. And as we look at the world of things that are being made, we have people who, who need data and information and people who have that data and information. Science fiction throws that, that problem away. The thing that we suspend belief on is how hard data exchange is. Forge is the platform for how we do that. It was time to have a coming out party. That's really what the first DevCon was. I've done conferences with four or 500 people, but this is like, this is on a totally different scale. It was, um, it was amazing. They, they not only get it, they're now telling us, you know, the parts that, that, that we, we couldn't have imagined. One of our early adopters, one of those first 200 users, Jay Dunn was at the conference. It helped them to connect cost estimating, to connect purchasing, to connect bidding between the design with what Jay Dunn had to build. It helped them on their bottom line not bidding things wrong. And it helped them on their top line, winning deals because the customers saw what J.E. Dunn was doing and said, I can trust these people. They have better data. They are not winging it. They are, you know, the prototypical data-driven construction company. Yeah, so afterwards, post DevCon, first there was a sigh of relief. Um, <laughs> next, after that, we were looking at, okay, so, so what, what happens next? We, we had to taper our enthusiasm. When you can see that a, a, a future is possible, oftentimes we want to run to that future. And, and that's what we have to sometimes hold ourselves back on and, and, and solve the problem that is today. People need to trust us, whether it's a partner, whether it's a customer, they need to trust us. Um, and they deserve that from us. So we had to take the time to do that. And we, we had to take a step back and we basically took a breather for uh, a year and a half, two years to do a bunch of replumbing, to enable scalability. Uh, I like to, you know, a quote I've used many times, innovation happens and it tends to happen elsewhere. And you kind of go, huh? Well, look, at Autodesk, we have 4,000 engineers. The Forge ecosystem today has about seven or 8,000 engineers. That's a lot of smart people.
Many product teams use Bure, and they were requesting more features than the other developers and I could implement ourselves. I realized we needed to change the narrative. Instead of treating the product teams as customers, we could treat them as collaborators to give our collaborators a forum to following their own interests and explore new avenues. I organized the first LMV hackathon. Participants from various teams build creative projects that we might not have ever built ourselves. All of these examples ended up being productized and actually shipped with the viewer now, so which is super exciting. CC Tech is a great example of a customer pushing the boundaries of interactive visualization. CC Tech decided to use Forge Viewer to show airflow and fluid flow animations in the context of a 3D model. Wow, this is not what we planned to build Viewer for. That was again like, you know, the change of mindset. Like, do not wait to provide a polished product to your customers, but instead, they will help you to change your product in a way that your customers actually need, instead of not what you think they need. Our customers might think of Forge as something that provides just a few APIs to them, never enough. I see it as something much bigger, and I see the direction we're going as much bigger. Beyond adding more APIs, we're going to see a far more modern, far smoother, and just much more workable approach for our customers. What that means for our engineering community is we can't distinguish and say, this one's a desktop engineer and this one is a cloud engineer. We really need both to understand both sides. So there's a, you know, a several year job in front of us to show customers Forge is a set of web service APIs and allows customers to move design make data across an enterprise to create digital transformation to allow customers to just do a much better faster easier lower cost job for whatever they happen to do as we move from becoming a from a product company to becoming a platform company we're making our software our ip available to far more people and these people they're going to do amazing stuff with it without loss of data fidelity, without tedious and error-prone human intervention. You did what the tool allowed you to do. Now we're just blowing that all out and you know, giving people the space to, to be much more creative. And it's, it's such a bold move of Autodesk's because you know, we're successful where we are. And with a change like that, we're taking a risk and I'm so proud to be part of that journey.